Welcome to the Pro Kitchen High Def Light and Shadows video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the functionality of the light and shadow high def rendering in Pro Kitchen. To get started, we have an image up here of a rendered kitchen, and you can see the light in the cabinet coming across from the lighted cabinet across the wall, and you can also see the light coming in from outside. So let's take a look and see how we build those effects. I have a design up here and this design is already set up for the lights. So some of the things that we need to look at in order to set up your lights. First off you need to make sure that your windows are set for no glazing. Now this is a standard setup when you place a window, it is standard as non-glazed, not glazed. Um, but if you're doing this in an older design, you'll need to be sure to make sure that your windows do not have glazing on them. If they are glazed, the light will not shine through your window. So first step is make sure that no glazing is set. The second step is to make sure your lights are placed in the proper orientation. First off, for our outside light, which is room light number one, to place that light, we just go to lights and light sources, and here we have room light, sphere light, over cabinet lights, 84, 90, and 96 inches high, toe kick light, and under cabinet light. So all these lights are available to use, along with pretty much any other light in here. The difference here between our room light and our sphere light they're the exact same light, but it's the light that they put off that's different. Our room light is a sharp light with sharp shadows and sharp contrasting, and our sphere light brings in soft shadows and soft contrasting. The other difference between room light and sphere light is if you're using sphere light, it takes a little bit longer to generate the high def 3D, almost twice as long as the standard room light. So I've got my lights placed out here, and we'll just take a look at each one as we go through. So here's our default light. This is the light that places when we create a design. And we're going to go to the attributes of our default light real, real quick here. And you see I've turned it down to 80 watts, and I find that somewhere between 50 and 100 watts is the best lighting for this. You get much past 100 watts, and it starts washing out the shadows on the wall. I also have no color to my light. Now you could come in here and set some color to your light. You know, you could maybe get some cool effects that look like a uh, sunset or something to that effect if you really wanted to spend some time and play with it. Now we've got a light right here too, which is our inside the cabinet light. And we'll take a look at the attributes on this guy as well. This is 50 watts and this is the standard default setting for this particular light. I didn't change the intensity and it works well right where it's set. Now our room light, this light in attributes is set all the way up to 300 and the reason for this is we need the maximum amount of intensity so that it shines through the window and gives us that effect on the inside. The other thing we need to look at with this light is the placement the distance from the wall or the other window and the height. Now this guy if I click on it we can see that we're 12 inches from the ceiling and so the height of the light it's very important that it matches the height of the window. So my windows here if I go into up down you'll see that my windows are 12 inches from the ceiling so they match. Now the other thing that we need is the distance from the wall we need to, to be out from the wall just a few inches so that the light can shine through at an angle. If we set it out here much farther, the light won't have the intensity that's necessary to give us those nice effects on the inside. And if we set it in here too close, then the window itself will block the light. So our, our casing on our window and such will block the light. So I find it's best to be out here about three to four inches. Six inches is all right as well, but you just need to be out there a, a little ways to get that done. 
Now you can also set the light off to one side or the other and have it come in and shine through at an angle which gives some cool lighting effects on the inside. And now a way that we've found that makes it really easy to determine where your light is going to shine is we can come up here and we can do add a line from comment, click out here in the middle of the light, and as we move our crossed here we can see this will be the path of our light. So we can see from this angle it's going to light both sides of the cabinets on each side of the sink. Our light's not going to hit our corner cabinet but it's going to come in here and hit our, our cabinets along the wall over here. And if you place that line, escape takes it away. So there's our line. Now we've got our light set here for the proper height, the proper intensity, and the proper distance from the wall. Our light in the cabinet is set at the proper height and the proper intensity. And then our light here over the room is set at the proper intensity. So let's take a 3D and see how this all looks. Okay, so here's our room in 3D. As I rotate it around here, you can see we know we have a cabinet in this light because we have some light source up there that we can see. Now I find for doing the high def on this, I want to rotate around so I can see both the cabinet and the window. I find that for doing the, the proper angle, instead of looking down on it, if you look in about what you would see in real life, so you figure, you know, five and a half foot, six foot person, you kind of want to be in that area as you're looking in here, that seems to give you the best view of it. And so once I have it set, I want to zoom in a little bit more. And we need to over zoom just a little bit because when we get to high def, it zooms us out a little bit. So over zooming helps. And now we're going to hit our, well, let's take a look at our lights before we get there, before we do our high def button. So if you've come in here and you realize, oops, I forgot to set my lighting intensities, then you can de definitely come in here. You can disable lights just by clicking the light, enable or disable. We can turn them on, off, up, down, whatever you need to do there. So that saves you from having to go all the way back to the layout. Now let's take a high def view. And here we are in our high def. So you can see the light coming in through the window, shining on the side of our cabinets. You can see those reflections out here. You also see the light inside of our cabinet. So let's render this a little bit bigger. And grab this and stretch it out. And so here you can really see the effect that we get. We've got the light above, we've got the light coming out and hitting the edge of our cabinet. We've got the light coming across here and then coming back here and catching the edge and lit up down here so you can see how that light is shining through and lighting. See it lighting the side of our refrigerator there. We see the shadows. We see the shadows. We even have the light from the side of the cabinet reflected. Well, I guess it's the side of the cabinet reflected in the uh, refrigerator. So those are the, are the light and shadows. Now, we're still a little bit dark in this one, and so we could come back over in here and lighten it up a little bit. To lighten that up, we just go here and click on our shadows or our lights, and it pops up on my other screen, always. And so we need default light, and I'm just going to click that up to about 100. Uh-huh, everything but 100. All right, we're going to be 101 watts. So, okay, I'm going to pull a 3D again. And now you see we're not quite as dark. We can adjust it for brighter or for lighter from here if we want a little bit. So we'll kick that up just a little bit. And now we're going to render.
And so here we have it with a little bit more light. It's not quite as dark, a little bit easier to see. Now you can adjust your lighting up a little bit more, but know that the more you intensify your room light or your overall lighting of the scene, the less light you will see shining on the sides of things. So, and the lighter your cabinets, then the less light you see. So if it's a light cabinet, you're not going to see very much. If it's a dark cabinet like this, they'll definitely be brighter. Here's another design. This is one that we have up on our website. And it's rendered in high def light and windows setup as we looked at earlier. You'll notice we've got the shades in this window so you can see the lighting coming in through the shades. And you can also see the light rays. I've got the intensity of the room light turned up quite a bit here because of the white cabinets. But you can see the room rays across there. Now a couple helpful hints as you're doing these. Um, you'll find you probably have to do a couple, two or three high def renderings before you really get it tweaked just the way you like it. So, so to speed that up, include as few lights as possible because every light you add to the rendering adds time that it takes to render that. And also all your little accoutrements, the knife blocks and all these fun little things on the countertop, leave those off while you're getting this set up um, because all those little things take time to render as well. So if you're down to just your basic kitchen design. You can come in, you can get your lights and windows set up. It renders a lot faster. And once you have that set up, then you can come back and put in all your fun little kitchen accoutrements and then take a 3D and a high def. It'll image slower and it'll all be done and you won't waste so much time going back and forth because you'll find it, it takes a couple of tries to get the image exactly the way you want it. So definitely is worth the effort if you put just a little bit of time into it to practice and get a handle on it because your high def 3d definitely turns out very very nice so this has been pro kitchen high def light and shadows video tutorial thank you for watching